Today's devotional comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. So everything that God has in store for us, or the reason he created us, was for good, to, um, for us to be his children. And you want to take care of your children. So if we focus on everything that God teaches us, Read here, follow his word, take it to heart, take it seriously, and not focus so much on our own possessions, worldly relationships, or statuses, which, by the way, will not heal your emotional or spiritual wounds. Speak from experience. Focus on God, going to him in prayer every day, being sincere during your prayer is a great step towards healing those wounds. Any brokenness you have, God can heal it. Not immediately. All right, it's not a fix-all, you know, going to happen right now type thing. But focusing on God will take the focus off of you. And everything he has in store for us is grand. I mean, why would he put us here if he didn't care about us? You know, even though we have free will to do the things that we, we choose the things that we want to do. He loves us regardless. And nothing will change that. Nothing at all. So we have to take our focus off of ourselves. Stop looking for things we can do, creating our own circumstances, leaning on our own shoulders, um, being spiteful or prideful. Prideful is a big one. And just leaning on God, asking him for things. Even if you don't know the words to say in your prayer, he knows your heart. Be sincere in your prayer. He hears you. I can't stress how important this is uh, when you're learning to walk a Christian life or something like that. Um, I have not perfected this. I'm not trying to say that I have. And this devotional kind of coincides with yesterday's devotional, which if you haven't seen that, was uploaded yesterday. You can find it on this channel. But only God can fulfill the emptiness in our hearts. That's just the way it is. Everything else will be superficial and not long lasting. So let's think about giving our lives over to the Lord, wholly and completely, in mind, body, and spirit. Hope you have a great day today. And um, remember to say your prayers before you go to bed. Have a good one.